Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Come on. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. In this video, we're doing a oven baked neck bone recipe. You're gonna love this, but I want you guys to go check out that black IP recipe, man. I'm telling you, you're gonna love that one. Now, while you over there, I want you to also check out this live video that I did. It was a live video where we made some baked macaroni and cheese. And I'm telling you, y'all, the baked macaroni and cheese was phenomenal. So today we're doing some oven baked neck bones. A lot of you love neck bones. It's a southern staple. You're going to love it. Let's get into the video. Hey, YouTube, this is your boy Ray Mack. Today, we're doing four pieces of pork neck bones, all right? First thing we want to do is we want to clean these babies up. Along with that, we want to remove the spinal cord. So my mom taught me a long time ago to remove the spinal cord from the neck bones. I don't like it, y'all, and it's to me, it's kind of disgusting. I'm sorry, but the neck bones are good. So we want to clean these neck bones up, remove the spinal cord. After we do that, we want to go ahead and season these babies up, and I'm going to definitely show you once you clean up your neck bones. All right, now we got our neck bones cleaned up. Let's go ahead and season these babies up. I got some of this here, Yummies, a taste of New Orleans, black and seasoning. And I want to season up this here meaty side on these neck bones real good. So this Yummies black and seasoning is definitely good. If you haven't tried Yummies black and seasoning, trust and believe me, you will love it. Then we have some of this here, Spain Spices, red onion seasoning, all right? And I'm definitely gonna leave a link below for you guys to check out the Spain Spices if you never checked them out before. Four. Then I got some sweet basils also from Spain Spices that I'm going to add to my neck bones. If you guys never had neck bones before, man, we country fire folk. We love some neck bones. Then I have some of this here Ray Mac Special Seasoning Blend. All right. It's just some all-purpose seasoning. You can create your own or use whatever you can buy at the store for this. It works well. Then I'm going to also toss in some of this here um, extra virgin olive oil and i want to go ahead and just rub in these seasonings on the top part of these here um meat and then i also rub the bottom as well okay because there ain't no meat at the bottom of these here bones it's just meat at the top now i got me a cast iron skillet y'all know i love my baby right here man i love my baby my cast iron skillet i'm just gonna put all four pieces of these here neck bones in that skillet because I want to go ahead and put these in the oven at least at 400 degrees so we could just brown these babies up. Now, once your neck bones are brown, I want you to go ahead and take you some vinegar. I got some apple cider vinegar, one cup that's already in this here skillet. Then I have some beer. All right, I got some beer, y'all. Yes, use your favorite beer. Take at least um, one cup of that and put it inside the pot as well, inside this cast iron. Then I got some barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite. Just put it right on top side of the meaty side of these neck bones. And then I want you to go ahead and use you some black pepper. Sprinkle you a little bit of that black pepper on there within the bar, say about a tea spoon of black pepper and then you could also use some salt put about at least around about a teaspoon of salt as you as you like and then we want you to put in some um hot sauce sprinkle you some hot sauce go until you say stop you understand what i'm saying that's exactly what i did you could use as much as less as you want as far as the hot sauce goes these are oven baked neck bones and you're gonna definitely love this here recipe if you try it. now we're gonna add a little sweet to this here add some brown sugar dark brown sugar to this here sprinkle it on top and I'm only just using almost about like a tablespoon of brown sugar just sprinkle it right on on top of that then I have some of this here um, barbecue seasoning mix you can use whatever type of barbecue seasoning mix you like just add a little bit on top because I love this because it has that red pepper flake so if you got some red pepper flakes on hand go ahead and toss it in now since we got everything seasoned up on top i want you to turn your neck bones upside down put the meaty side submerge them in the liquid then toss them in your oven and i want you to cook these neck bones for at least around about a good um hour to 25 minutes 
in the oven. Once they, they have cooked for at least around about an hour and 25 minutes in the oven, pull the babies out. Then I want you to turn them babies right on over. All right, you'll know when your um, neck bones are done, when you take a fork and you begin to pierce your neck bones with the fork. And if they're meaty, if they're fork tender, where that fork could just pry itself all the way in, you know you're gonna have you something good. They ready to eat, all right? So go ahead, man, and try this recipe. If you like it, this is a good way to cook neck bones. A lot of people cook it different ways, stewed and everything else on top of the stove, but I like it cooking, cooking it different ways. So if you like this here recipe, please check out Ray Mass Kitchen and Grill. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I also want to say thank you so much for watching this here video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for more. And also leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me something. How do you like cooking your net bones? Watch these videos and um, I thank you. Love and not hate. Peace.